today we're gonna need, I know I got some here, uh, I just do not see them. Here they go. The, I knew I had got them out. So we got these little bitty fellas right here. Get dressed up for the night at the break of dawn. No eat the prey. Think a suicide door out just to prove you wrong. All right. Hello and welcome back to the channel, y'all. For those of you that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We're changing it up a little bit, doing some trout fishing. Got some new lure, well, new to me, lures that they're kind of old because I've had them for years, but that's besides the point. Let's see what we can do by way of speckled trout. Normally, I don't do this type of stuff. I'm predominantly a red fisherman, but today we're gonna try for the speckled trout. So let's see how things are gonna shape up to be. There we go, look at that. Oh, he just got off. Oh my gosh. Ooh, buddy, that gets the blood pumping. There we are. Oh my gosh, bro, what is going on? Okay, I know he's down there. I mean, he just bit it. Did not get the hook set though. I don't think he's gonna bite again because I think I uprooted him from the bottom and. Moved him along a couple of feet. All right, come on, baby. What is going on? Is you gonna bite or is you not? Is you, is you not? There's the thump. Okay, that's that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Definitely. That's gotta be a red. And if it ain't a red, oh my gosh. That's gonna be crazy. I mean, we come out here for speckled trout and we are catching a redfish. Nice. <laughs> even, even when I'm intentionally targeting something else, I come away with a red. You gotta be kidding me, buddy. You're going home, fella. Oh, we forgot our stringer. Oh yeah, 21 and, actually it's 20 and three quarters. And because I left my stinky pants stringer in the truck, I'm gonna have to do this makeshift. And I told myself, put it inside the kayak, and I sure did not. And that's the only one that we're gonna keep today. Not keeping anything else, so we can go ahead and loop this end right here, and then just attach it to the kayak, and we are good to go for the day. Oh yeah, finally. <laughs> Get over here. Yes, baby, keeper speckled trout. Eventually, I knew it was gonna pay off and uh, man, oh man, we just made it happen, y'all. Just stayed with it. I saw that fella come up, not this one, but the other one, I saw him like literally come up and like take a, oh gosh. Oh man, it got his, it got his gill. I hope you're a keeper, buddy, because I think I'm gonna harvest you if you are. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper, probably 17 inches. I'm gonna make sure because we don't wanna go paying no dang tickets to the game warden. Yeah, that's a 15 and a half. Dang it. Okay, so uh, we're gonna, keep a speckled trout as well. Oh, got him. Right in the middle of the channel. I've been playing around at the outskirts and uh, really didn't get much of anything get over here towards the center and catch another keeper look at that that's a very skinny fella 14 going on 15 somewhere around there 
That is definitely not a keeper, but it's boosting the confidence because, man, I have been on mute for quite some time and uh, just trying to figure out my cadence with the lure. See you later, homie. Um, and just trying to build confidence, period. That's all. Just building that confidence. We've been fishing about two feet of water and now it's at about 4.1. I'm gonna throw a massive shout out to my boy Nathan from Southern Salt Kayak Fishing. So he actually was the one who tipped me off to this well-known area that I'm fishing today. In my effort to try and learn how to do the trout fishing thing, I've decided to start here and uh, just try to gain that confidence and also want to throw a big shout out to my nephew Caleb. Continue watching and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to also be able to pick up how to fish whenever you do come out here with me and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to catch quite a few big fat ones. Another one, and this guy feels pretty big. He feels really big. I don't know if we're foul hooked or not, y'all. But I got him right at the start of the uh, oil slick. I don't feel the head shake, so that leads me to believe that he's probably foul hooked. No, it's a big trout. Oh my gosh. That is a massive mama. Oh yes, baby girl. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous trout right there. Whoo, baby. That is just what the doctor ordered for me. We'll see you later, girl. Continue crushing that bait and living that good life. There we are. Nice. Oh my gosh, he got off. We're fishing the oil slick. I just had to swap my battery and immediately got smashed right at the beginning of it. That definitely was a speckled trout. Oh, there's a thump. Got him. Yes, sir. Another good speckled trout. Really, really liking this. And they're making it way too easy with the oil slicks that they're leaving. And I'm just hanging out right by the channel getting out of the way whenever these boats are coming by if I can hear them the ones that are in ninja mode I gotta keep my head on a swivel but they're making it super easy and this right here is probably gonna get me through the winter trout fishing that's what helped me the uh, the last season or actually this season so when we head into 2022 there's another one man they are crushing this little shrimp it's free falling so slow that they are really loving it. I do think this slick is a school of them. This guy's got a little bit more weight and the quick release. A little bit more weight. Check that lure. Yep, we're good. Let's see how many more we can pull in before we end our day. Going back to winter fishing, man, it is super tough. The bite gets really hard, but we were able to land so many speckled trout in various bayous. But we were fishing on the skiff, so that kind of helped me to reach unreachable waters that I couldn't get to by my kayak. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do this season, but I'm definitely learning my home waters a lot better. And 
I think we'll be able to put a game plan together, but I'm just very happy that we are doing exceptionally well today. Okay, y'all, before we end today's video, I wanted to quickly let y'all know, uh, a lot of you have been asking, why is my battery up here? That's because my plug is worn out right there and the connection is no longer safe. Uh, it, it does not connect to the motor and supply the juice that is needed. So that's why I got the battery up here connected directly to that motor. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to let y'all know really quick because of all the questions that we've been getting. So that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click that thumbs up button for me, please. And if you wanna help to support my work, then click that subscribe button for those of you that aren't subscribed. There we go. And that's gonna do it. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, tight lines.